Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Talon03. I just love fashion. Please, clothing brands that aren't just gamer merch, sponsor us. We're live often enough to wear different things, and with the world slowly opening back up, we're ready to dress up. You're ready to dress up? Cool. Dress up in the clothes that you already have instead of asking for handouts. This next one is by Katarina Mazhua. I love this painting, and being that it is Christmas time, my budget is tight, and well, since it's Christmas time, I'm hoping you could use the money as well, so I will get straight to it. Would you take $500 for it? I will pay you immediately, and you would have the funds quickly. If so, send me a link with the price change and I will buy it immediately. Thank you for your consideration and happy holidays. I'm sorry, but I can't do a discount of more than 50%. Best I can do is give $100 off. I see it as getting paid for a piece more so than a discount. I won't have this $500 another day, just letting you know. Just because you might not have $500 another day isn't their problem. You either pay what they're asking, or take the discount they're offering, or just move on. This next one is from Zur. Hello, sis call me. Do you make a party for your 30th birthday? No, because of the pandemic. Maybe next year or not at all. Well, that's definitely going to suit you. On my 30th, I also invited you all to dinner, so you will probably be able to catch up next year. And if you can't, give us all still money so that we can eat alone. Don't forget the kids. I don't really get the vibe that this person is irresponsible, so I doubt they're going to skip you for your birthday, but asking them for money because they can't show up, that just says a lot about you. This next one is by Eliza Bubblehead. You give away free biscuits for dogs? What about cats? And other animals? Doesn't seem right. As a punter who has had several cats, I realize the dog biscuits are there to keep dogs amused, in the shop, which is often required. Do you have an unruly cat that you bring into the shop? They definitely hit the nail on the head with that. I don't think I've ever seen or heard of a story of a cat going crazy inside of the pet shop. Dogs are a completely other story. This next one is from Count Calcula. <laughs> God bless her on her journey. I'm looking for a photographer. Photographer must have website, amazing portfolio, own studio, able to print all of my images and release digital gallery to me, variety of backdrops, provide props, three hours to capture every look I have in mind, must allow three outfit changes, must allow my man and kids to get in a couple shots. I don't want to pay more than $100. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> Thanks in advance. You don't want to pay more than $100 for what sounds like a professional photographer as well as a professional photo shoot. Good luck in your search. Chances are you're not going to find that. This next one is by E.T. Justice. I was really excited to pick up a slice for National Cheese Pizza Day today and unfortunately experienced an awful customer experience. I was turned away for being short 30 cents on one cheese slice of pizza. 30 cents! This is 7% of the total cost. As an alternative, I told them that I was a food blogger on Instagram and would post the slice on my page. Mind you, I have over 10,000 followers and restaurants frequently ask me to come in to try their pizza for free in exchange for a post. When the cashier returned from speaking with our manager, she said no discount. It's a shame they could not see the value in what I had to offer and disappointing because now they have forever lost a potential customer. Never going back to try their pizza. Not worth it. Well, let me give you a taste of your own medicine, beggar. If all of these restaurants you claim call you in to want to have you post about their food and give it to you for free, what if they gave you just a bite? You know, not the whole thing. I'm pretty sure you would reject the offer. This next one is from All Too Well. Yes, ma'am. I know I don't have the biggest following, but I just refuse to buy them. <laughs> I absolutely just cannot do it. 
<laughs> but yes, I absolutely love your work and would love to tell my followers to come check your page out. Will that be okay? I'm wanting a different one than the one I seen you already made. So if that's okay, I'll send you a picture of the outfit and look of hers that I'm wanting. So is it all okay? <laughs> I mean, you're asking for a service, yet refusing to pay, so don't be shocked when they refuse to offer said service. This next one is by Quincy0807. Are you wanting 50 for both? Only one is left. Brilliant Diamond. $50 for it because it's unopened. Would you be interested in a trade for a new karaoke Bluetooth speaker unopened? No thank you. Okay, well thank you. You always must think that that game is gold when you turn down a 100 bucks speaker. Like, wow. I'm just not interested in a speaker is all. Hopefully you can find a better trade then if it's worth twice my asking price. I'm trying to figure out. You said you got doubles, so it's not like you're using it. Just like I don't use the speaker. But game will be more. It be for my son. But at price you asking anyways, I can go to GameStop and get fit. 40 new. Even so, I'll just do that again. Good day and stop messaging me. I have a feeling English might not be their first language, but I've said it time and time again. If you can get something for cheaper somewhere else, then do it. Don't waste people's time. This next one is from McLanky Doodle. Hi Matt, could I pick up the books tomorrow? Hi, sorry, I didn't hear back from you yesterday and someone collected in the meantime. Oh wow, that's not very nice. This was going to a 14 autistic child who loves cricket. He will be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's offering to give something away for free, don't first of all ask, is that all you have? Then wait more than 24 hours to get back to them, expecting them to hold it for you indefinitely. Looks like you just went on holidays. That's on you if you can spend money on that and can't afford to buy them a few books. Laying down those facts because it's true, if they can go on a holiday and spend money on that but then try to come and cheap out on books but then try to play the guilt card, you know where their priorities lie. This next one is by Anish on Fire. My name is Nadia and I absolutely love your custom Air Force Ones. I was wondering if you'd be interested in sending me a pair for free in exchange for promotion of your products and brand on my social media account. Here's the link. I would absolutely love to promote your product. I've gotten 1,000 to 7,000 views on some unboxing videos and over 900 likes on those videos as well. Let me know what you decide. I can give you my shipping information and contact info if needed. I look forward to hearing back from you. Sincerely, Nadia. I don't give out $180 shoes for free, and I also have more likes and followers than you on TikTok, so your answer is no. I have a feeling it doesn't matter how big you are on TikTok, this person stays firm. If they're selling shoes, they're selling shoes. They're not giving them out, whether you're an influencer or not. And our final one is by Daisy Mays Garden. I'm a home baker, not a professional by any means. On a few occasions, I baked for a service club my husband was in. A member's daughter was getting married and looking for cupcakes for her wedding, and they recommended me. We worked out a small fee and I made them. About a year lady, that lady's daughter was having a baby shower and they wanted cupcakes and she called me back. So again, I made them. About six months after that, the lady's daughter was planning her wedding and wanted me to make her cupcakes. This time, they didn't know what flavor they wanted, so they asked for a sampling of each cupcake flavor I've ever made. I told her I'm not a bakery, so that would not be possible. She said, Oh, okay. Then every time you make any from now on, can you just give me a couple so we can sample them? I think she thought I was her personal baker and that I owed it to her. I ended up telling her I was no longer baking for events. I like how the whole lead up, it was fine, dandy, she kept coming back because apparently she really liked your baking but then in the end, just wanted freebies for I, I'm, I'm guessing being a long term customer. You gotta love people like that. Alright. That's enough beggars for the day.
Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.